Hey, my name's Lee Pycroft. I'm an international makeup artist. Normally I'm working on the covers of magazines or getting A-listers ready for the red carpet. The third year running, I'm heading up the makeup department for Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. And in partnership with Revlon, this is how you get the look. So here we are in London and we're creating grungy black eyes. Now this is a dishevelled look, but don't be under any illusion that this is just thrown together because actually it's pretty well thought out and I'm going to let you in on how we create it. We're here today with our gorgeous supermodel, Wissycat. Hi. The basics of this look are to start with a black and a brown eyeshadow. This is going to create more of a warm look. So I'm going to start with the black in the Siren palette and the brown in the Adventurous palette. And the combination of black and brown together is much more flattering and adds more warmth to the skin than a grey and a black. I'm going to use my black eyeshadow and I'm pressing the colour onto the eyelids. This is going to really make the colour nice and rich and smooth rather than sweeping it on. This is really just building the shape up of the eye. So you don't need to be too careful at this point about how clean the eyeshadow looks. You just want to get it onto the lid and then we'll blend the crease of the eye later. So I'm using the brown tone instead of the grey because it adds more warmth to the look. And I'm going to use my little blending brush, press it into the sockets of the eyes and just buff the brown shade in. The key here is to just work around the edges of the eyeshadow, not onto the bulk of colour itself. Have you ever wanted to create a really beautiful angle to the edge of your eye makeup? Take a tissue and place it over the edge of the eye. Put your black eyeshadow and you're sweeping it across the area you want to create the edge to. As you take the tissue away, this great line. Ta -da. So we've built the framework of the eye makeup by applying this really beautiful eyeshadow. But now we're going to mess it up and dishevel a little bit by applying the eye pencil in more of a haphazard fashion. I put it inside the rim of the eye, but I'm smudging it so it's in the place of where an eyeshadow would be as well. And you can pull it out and be a little bit rough, and this is where you get your tough edge to the makeup. So I'm going to move on to my brush. And I'm going to blend the eye pencil to follow the same angle that we created when we used the tissue. So I'm just going to use the angle and just smudge it just so it's not too much of a blunt edge, but keeping the underneath part of the pencil very thick. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my Revlon Colorstay 24-hour gel eyeliner. But I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow, and this is going to create a really intense black. So what I do with this, I take my blending brush, and I whisk it into the gel liner, buff it onto my hand a little to remove the excess. So really, you just want to buff it onto the eyelid area. And the great thing about applying this gel after the eyeshadow is in here, you have all your blending done already because you've already created it with the eyeshadow. So you're just applying it to the lid and winging it out to create a very black, intense effect. I never knew you could use the liquid gel eyeliner as an eyeshadow. You could use it as an eyeshadow on its own. But you'd have to apply it in small sections and blend each section as you go because it can be tricky to blend otherwise. But the idea behind the mascara is this is not about creating a manicured lash. This is about really randomly applying the mascara to add to that kind of disheveled feel. I mean, it's almost like you want to push the lashes the opposite direction so they twist and turn and create this disheveled look we're talking about. So I'm going to use my Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butter. and These are brilliant for nourishing the lips and this is just going to give a hint of colour to Ristocat's lips. I've chosen this sheer nude tone because I really want the eyes to stand out. This is just to keep the lips nourished and buffed looking. I'm going to finish this look off with a silicone gloss. So I'm patting the silicone gloss onto the eyelid. Really, we're just applying this onto the eyelid. Don't go anywhere near the brow bone. And the fab thing about this is this is what breaks the colour up. It's a very cool look. What do you think? Oh, wow, it looks great. I really love it. Thank you. Did you do that yourself at home? I'll give it a, I'll give it a go. <laughs> There's a girl. 